Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is about choosing the right accessory that Miss Great has to offer. You know, it's very important to know what you want as your go-to hairstyle at any given moment. Whether it's a casual outing or a formal affair, we want a piece that we can grab and go and know we're going to look our absolute best. Being an owner of quite a few pieces from Miss Great, I thought it would be a great idea to share a more informative video regarding hair textures and color gradients that are available before you even make your final purchase. This is not a video that will tell you what to purchase or even what is the best texture for you. Only you can determine what you want. It's a wig. <laughs> you can choose whatever texture, whatever color, it's your choice. This is a time of expression. This is simply introducing you to the different colors and textures that Miss Great has to offer. Okay guys, so today I am here with the hair. Okay, so I thought it would be a good idea to do this video so that you guys can see the different textures, um, the color gradient for the samples that I have today. Miss Great reached out, wanted me to kind of go into a little bit more detail about um, the textures of their pieces as well as the color. When I am using one of their pieces, nine times out of 10, not all the time, but nine times out of 10, I am going to be using it as a straight piece. The wigs that I use, they're gonna be straight or blown out. Um, I think I only have one of their pieces um, as far as a full wig that is a natural wig. I have opted, um, I think I tried one video, I think it was the very first video, um, I tried clip-ins and it was just, an, it was a fail. Um, and I really haven't tried since, um, only because it was just really kind of weird for me. I didn't really know how to put them in. So um, maybe that'll be something that I can try to add a little bit of length to my hair, um, you know, just to see what it's like. But anyhow, so we're gonna go ahead, get into the video. I'm gonna show you guys some of the samples um, that they sent me kind of give you an idea of what the textures look like um, and what the colors look like. So we'll start with the darkest. This is their color 34. Now the samples that they sent me for most of, well for all of the sample is as far as color are going to be natural hair color. So I'm going to stick my mic here. Okay so coming in a little closer um, you guys can see that this particular one, I think this is there. This one is the coily. So it looks a little bit more like an S pattern. And this is the kinky, which is more of a zigzag. If you, these have 30% um, white hair mixed in with the dark hair. They did mention that when you do comb out, the pieces, the color is going to look a little lighter. So there's that, and you can kind of see that the white hair kind of comes out a little bit more. So this is this color compared to my hair color. And then also to my texture. You can see that. The coily which I think kind of, this one kind of mimics my hair a little bit more. It is a little tighter than my texture, but then also normally I don't just wear my hair as a wash and go, I twist it. So when I twist it, it's gonna be a lot looser, really have to brush it to almost come close to my texture. But even the coily is a little bit too too curly for my hair as well. 
but these the next color is a 44 and these are 50 percent um, white and I'm just gonna go ahead and comb those out so you can kind of have an idea of what that looks like now this is more 50% the coily to my texture, the kinky to my texture. Number 51, most of the, the pieces that I have are 51. And so there is that. And there is that. So this one is pretty much um, the color that I use, which is their number 51. This is their kinky, and this is their coily. Okay, so we pretty much saw all of the colors. So there's basically just the three color gradients that they have, which is going to be, like I said before, number 34, which is 30%, um, number 44, which is 50%, and 51, which is their 60% white. I don't think I said that in the video in you know, earlier, but that's what it is. I've already showed you guys, this is the coily and this is the kinky, but then you get into a looser texture. So this one is curly. And this is the BC, which probably <laughs> would be more of what I would use because I do a twist out. I, like I said, I don't do a wash and go. I always twist my hair out. So you can see parts of my hair that are, that have more of that loose. Then there's parts of it, especially if you go, when you go further back, in the back, it's going to be more of a kinky texture. So in a situation like that, honestly, clip-ins probably would be really ideal for me because I have so many different textures going on with my hair. Um, so more of something like this or this, more concentrated in the front, you know, a little tighter in the back. If I'm mimicking my hair textures, I'm gonna go with that in the back. Now the samples that I have for the straighter pieces are going to be the kinky, um, I guess it's like a, a kinky straight or kinky blowout. And these are, this is the texture that most of the net more natural blown out pieces that I have, this is the texture that they have always sent me. My bob wig, the one that's just the straight bob that I cut up and I use it, I usually wear it as like a, um, like a wavy soft wave. Um, it's gonna be the silky texture. Um, headband wig. They were saying, well, no, we really think that you need to go with uh, the Kiki blowout. It's gonna mimic more of your hair texture. You know, anything else is gonna look a little weird. And so I just kind of went with it. But when I got the piece, there was a lot that I had to do. So for me, it was way too coarse. Um, you know, once my hair is blown out, because I'm not a person, I'm not gonna just wear my hair blown out and just go. I'm gonna blow it out, I'm gonna flat iron it. To me, it just looks better that way. I just don't wear my hair just in a big blown out straight style, no. <laughs> but um, once my hair is blow dried and flat ironed, it has more of this texture than it does this texture. So that's just kind of something to keep in mind, especially when you're buying, thinking about buying um, something like a half wig or a headband wig, and you know that you're not gonna wear it, you know, just like that straight blown out. You know, maybe think about other textures that will work, and then once you add your hair in, when you blow it out and then you flat iron it, straighter texture than the kinky blown out one. So that's just kind of something to keep in the back of your mind. We've gone over all of the samples. If you guys have any questions about, um, you know, what colors or what textures, um, and like I said, this is not a video that's gonna tell you, oh, you need to get this or you need to get that. 
it is these are accessories and you can this is your time to be creative and to express your way yourself however you want to I mean you know if you want to go with the silky go with the silky if you want to go with the kinky go with the kinky it just really all depends on what it is that you want to do I kind of wanted to come on give you guys an idea of what um, different textures and different color um, variations that they have for us gray girls. That's gonna do it for this video and we will see you in the next one.